What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Sword Stance King Gambit team to use on the Regulation E ladder. You guys already know the deal, if you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team features Sword Stance King Gambit like we already mentioned, and on top of that we got Quiver Dance Volcarona, who is a sneaky, strong Pokemon. You can set up Quiver Dance with that, you get the speed boost, you get the special defense boost, and the special attack boost, then this Pokemon can pretty much go crazy from there. It's got leftovers, it's got Giga Drain for HP recovery, and like I said, its special attack is boosted, so it's doing a crazy amount of damage. But the first Pokemon that we're going to go over for today's team preview is going to be Ninetales. Alone Ninetales is set to snow and also has light clay, clay for that Aurora Bell move. It's got Blizzard, it's got Moonblast for two stab moves, and then last but not least, it is Rocking Protect. Second slot is a Pokemon we already talked about a little bit, and that is going to be Volcarona over here, with Flame Body and the Leftovers as its item. It's got Flamethrower for stab, Giga Drain for stab, Quiver Dance for that setup, and then Protect for its fourth and final move. In our third slot, we got King Gambit. King Gambit is just a top tier Pokemon within the meta right now, considering there are so many different Intimidate Pokemon across the field. It's got Defiant to deal with those Intimidate Pokemon, then the Black Glasses as its item. It's got Kowtow Cleave, Sucker Punch for first turn priority, Sword Stance, and Protect. In our fourth slot, we got Choice Scarf Flanders, which I believe to be one of the better items for Regulation E Ladder on Landorus. It's got Intimidate as its ability, then Rock and Stomping Tantrum, Rock Slide, U-Turn, and Terror Blast, with that flying terror type. This slot is going to be Ogre Bomb. This Pokemon can be used for a big time physical attacker or a nice little support Pokemon with the follow me move. It's got Water Absorb with the Wellspring Mask and then Ivy Cudgel, Horn Leech, Follow Me, and Spiky Shield for its moveset. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Iron Hands. It's got Cork Drive and Assault Vest, Frame Punch, Wild Charge, Heavy Slam, and Fake Out. You guys have seen this plenty of times on the Rank Ladder before. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Not to go to that top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that regulation E ladder. Let's grab some wins with this sword stance King Gambit team. First match coming at you guys. We're going up against a pretty strong team that has Tornadish, Shin Pao, and Urshfu, Hisuian Arcanine, Golden Go, and Rillaboom. How should I play this one? Who should I lead it? They have one Intimidate Pokemon with the Arcanine, who I don't really see them leading, right? I don't really see them leading Arcanine here, considering we do have King Gambit, but I do like my Intimidate Pokemon. I like my Landers here. They have a lot of physical attackers, so Intimidate is going to work wonders, and on top of that, its moveset is pretty good up against a lot of these Pokemon. So, I might just lead it, or I might save it for the back end. I think I'm going to save it for the back end. I could go Ninetales here to maybe try to set up like a, uh, a War Veil, but I think they might just be going into potentially like Rain Dance with Tornadus, which could be a little bit of a problem, right? Definitely could be a problem, but I'm going to go Volcarona here. I like having Volcarona out here for the lead, and I might just lead Iron Hands to try to set up Quiver Dance. I feel like that could be pretty good for us, right? Nice little Quiver Dance setup. I'm all about it. So I'm going to go those two. I'm going to bring Intimidate Landers in the back end, and then I think we just got to go Wellspring over fine. I think that works fine. Obviously, I want to use King Gambit in today's video, but I just feel like this battle, we're going to really rock out with uh, the Pokemon that we brought in here. So we'll see. We'll see what they do. I definitely think they're going to lead Tornadus. That's why I wanted to lead a Pokemon like Volcarona. Because then I can fake out if I want to. And then on top of that, I could set up my first Quiver Dance. And I like our Terror type with the Dragon. Let's see who they go into. It's going to be these Tornadus and Urshfu. So yeah, they definitely want to try to look to potentially set up the Brain Dance. I think we just fake out the... Uh... I think we just fake out the Urshfu here. And we set up a Quiver Dance. Because they're either going for Rain Dance or Tailwind here, right? I think that's definitely a possibility. Probably Rain Dance. That seems like the perfect lead for them. Because they want to lead this just in case I want to go into a War Veil Nine Tails. Because then they can go on the Rain Dance. Potentially pop Terra on Urshfu and just start hitting like a truck. But I'm going to pick out the Urshfu here. I'm going to look to set up this nice lovely Quiver Dance. It would be beautiful to set up here. And potentially just Terrasilize next turn because Dragon type can really work wonders, especially up against the Water Pokemon. So we'll see what they want to do here. We'll see. Fake Out's going to come across here, get some nice chip damage, and Rain Dance is going to come out. So hopefully this thing is not Quiver Cloak. We maybe should have just Giga Drained it. But I like the Quiver Dance setup instead. 
So we'll get off the nice big quiver dance. I think from here, we're now just going to terrestrialize Volcarona. And we're going to go into a Giga Drain. Makes the most sense, right? Giga Drain this slot. And then just go for a Wild Charge into, uh, into this Tornado slot, right? Because if both these moves hit, potentially double KO on our hands. Which would be massive. That would be pretty big. And then if they do go into physical attackers later, I could just intimidate them by swapping out the Iron Hands. Which could work wonders because then we have iron hands in the back end and we can use it for fake out later in the match the perfect little dragon terror we love the dragon terror on the volcarona and hope we're, we're really hoping that this giga drink could just ko because i don't think he's going to be able to ko with certain strikes even if he terrestrializes which he might do that could be scary that could get real scary but he's not going to terrestrialize which is good they're just going to go into a nice, lovely Tailwind, take full speed control. And certain Strikes is going to come into here, which we're going to be able to soak and probably get back all that HP that we're losing here with this Giga Drain. So it's massive. This is a big turn for us. This is a big turn. Big turn for Jeans here. Big turn. And we Flame Body him, which it really doesn't matter. Because, again, I think we're just going to be able to KO with this Giga Drain, right? Giga Drain coming out here. Yep, it's KO. And we're going to get back a ton of HP. Give me that HP. Almost back up the full, which is awesome. And now Wild Charge is also going to come out here. And probably finish off this uh, Tornadus, right? Get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. So big time turn from Jeans. Big time Terra. Big time Terra. Look at that HP. Lovely HP. Plus we got leftovers too. I forgot about them. We got the leftovers cooking. Almost back up the full. Almost back up the full, which is awesome. That was big turn. That was big turn right there. So let's see who they go out into. Hopefully they go into two physical attackers. And there's one. I'm thinking it's going to be Shen Pao in the back end, right? Because like I said, at this point, I will go into Intimidate. And that actually works out fine. If you're going to go into him, that, that actually works out fine. He's going to Intimidate us. I'm going to come back with an Intimidate on him. And I love our Terror type on this Volcarona here. I really like it. So I'm just going to go into this, and I'm just going to hard swap and intimidate them with Landers. So we'll intimidate two of these physical attackers, and on top of that, we can have fake out usage later in the game. We have Wolfspring Ogre Pond. And what I might try to do is swap Landers, or swap out Landers again, which could be pretty big. And I'm kind of hoping they're just going to double down into Volcarona, which is definitely a possibility considering its stats are boosted, so... Our opponent sees it as a high threat and a high priority. So they're probably going to target it down a little bit here. I mean, I do that. I know a lot of people do that. And from playing Pokemon for so long, it's just like it's just like a natural thing to think of. Like, okay, that Pokemon Sword Dance boosts it. That Pokemon's Quiver Dance boosts it. I want to get rid of that as soon as possible. So I think they're going to target it down. So Intimidate comes out here big time on two physical attackers. We love it. And they're going to end up terrestrializing who? Probably Rillaboom, right? Which I wouldn't harass I was going to do. Okay, cool. It's going to be Arkham. It's a fairy. So it's just going to go straight fairy. It might just Terra Blast the slot that my uh, Iron Hands was just in. Which, I mean, I don't mind too much. I have a Soul Best on my Iron Hands for late game. But nice big time protection come out here. And, yeah, he's going to attack it. Well, you're probably doubling down into that slot. Are you doubling down in that slot? No, you're going for a Will-O-Wisp. Oh, that kind of hurts. I don't like that one bit. No, it's one bit. So Burn comes out here. Um, how many turns are left in Tailwind? Is Tailwind getting ready to end? Might have one more turn left in Tailwind, which kind of sucks, right? It does kind of suck. One more turn left in Tailwind is kind of ugly. It is kind of ugly. Um, I could Quiver Dance here again if I want to. No, they have two turns left in Tailwind. Okay, so I think maybe just attacking is going to be play. How much damage can we do this for Lobeam? I really just want to target that down. But I'll do that, and I will also just U-turn out of here. I'm going to double down to Lobeam. And we'll get after it that way. But I would rather just get another Intimidate off. Landers is obviously, of course, going to flinch here. And High Horsepower is going to come out here. And deal a little bit of damage in here. And I flinch too. That's real ugly. That's real ugly. So I can actually waste out this Tailwind turn, which I think I'm going to do just by protecting. And I'm going to look to actually just U-turn uh, again here. Because Landorus isn't really going to get that much value out of his uh, moves. But, uh... 
But in another Intimidate could be big for us. So I'm just trying to waste out these Tailwind, these Wind Turn, and uh, Tailwind and Rain Turns. Just so I can use my moves fully. And hopefully I can just be able to U-turn here. So Rock Size is going to come back here. Of course they get the double flinch. Kind of annoying. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. And now the Rock Size is going to fly here. Lando's able to soak pretty well here. And the U-turn's finally able to come out here. So we do about five damage. We're going to bring back out Iron Hands. And now we have Landers in the back end. To get some work done, which I love. So Iron Hands, come on down here, buddy. Come on down here. So I got the Iron Hands out here. I'm ready to do some flinches. I'm ready to get after it. Woodhammer is going to attack the Volcarona. So Tailwind's finally gone. Brain should be gone here as well. Yeah. And now I might just fake out and double down into Rillaboom, right? Fake out Rillaboom, Flamethrower, Rillaboom. Get rid of it. Kind of go from there. Seems like it will work pretty well. But the Grass Train is actually just helping out my Volcarona. It's just getting a constant stream of HP back. Beautiful. Lovely. But yeah, flamethrower, fake out. I really don't see Rillaboom protecting here. And I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. Play this one really good. That like second turn where we wild charge and at the same time Giga Drain was so perfect. Really set us up for victory here. And then we can just solo play it like we have been doing. And it's an easy win. But our opponent actually put up a, a pretty good fight here. But come on, man. That's too easy. Volcarona is just going to be able to finish up things here. Cool. Awesome. You going for Terror Blast here? I don't even think you have Terror Blast. You might just be Choice Bandit with the Rock Slides. You might just be Choice Bandit with the Rock Slides. <clears throat> but I forgot the Grass Terrain's out here. My Giga Drain can do a, a little bit more damage than normal. That's if it doesn't end here. And it doesn't. Cool. So Giga Drain will do more damage than Flamethrower in the terrain. And we can just follow up with the Heavy Slam. But I think your opponent just cancels the match, right? Yeah, and that's a sweep here in match number one. Did not lose one Pokemon. Hopping into our second battle for today's video. And that first match went so perfectly. We rocked out with Volcarona. But in the second match, I would love to rock out with King Gambit here. He is a dark type, and he's actually going to be working out pretty well here up against a few of these Pokemon. So you know what? I'm going to end up leading them. They have the Sneasler, they got the Indeedee and Armourish combo, and then also the bottom three Pokemon, Urshifu, Shen, Pao, and Tornadus, really pair up together. So they have multiple different options that they can go into, but I feel like King Gambit could be pretty solid, alongside with maybe like Ninetales could be great here as well. I can get down with that. I can get down with Ninetales, unless they're going to go into Tornadus, which at that point could get pretty ugly, right? Could definitely get pretty ugly. Do I just go into like fake out Iron Hands? But then if they go in DD, then that can that can just be annoying there as well. We're gonna go Nine Tails here. I'm gonna look to try to pull off Nine Tails. I'm gonna bring Ogre Punt, and last but not least, do we go Iron Hands or Landers? Kind of lean towards Landers here. I like Landers with the Choice Scarf. Could definitely come in clutch in the late stages of the game. But we'll see. We shall see. That's the only problem with going up against teams like this, where they have so many different leads that they can go into. They kind of counter a lot of different things. So we're going to hope that it's a good lead that we can actually just uh, tear through and maybe set up King Gambit with the Sword Sands. But they're going to end up going into Indeed Armage, which I don't mind at all. I do not mind at all. So I'm going to set up this Aurora Val turn one. And the real question is, do I go into a Sword Sands here? I do have Terra Dark, which is not bad for me. I think I am just going to Terra Dark and just go into a Sword Saints here. And then I'm just going to set up a Reward Bill. And the reason I want to Terra Dark this turn is because I don't want... I don't want Armor Cannon coming in here and just wiping me off, right? I really don't want that happening. So I'm going to set up the Reward Bill. I'm going to try to get a bit bulkier here. They can't hit me with any Psychic type moves because I am a Dark type Pokemon, which works wonders. And we'll go from there. So, so they're going to end up Terrasalizing as well. You can Terrasalize Armourouge. Yeah, Armourouge going to get the Terror type. Go straight Grass, which I I don't mind. I don't mind. I mean, I got I got Blizzard Ice type Pokemon on with my Nine Tails. So it's not bad at all. We're both just going to Terror here. The first turn Terror. I love when, when both teams Terra first turn. It just feels like the battle's getting after, nice and early. 
the double tower to get us started. And he's gonna go helping hand. We still can do just attack. We're just looking at a straight up attack. We get off this reward though, which is gorgeous. Are you going for armor cannon? I'm really, really want to see what you're going for. You are. So this is exactly what I'm going to ask. Like, how much damage are you going to be able to do here? That's a lot of damage. That's a bit too much damage there. That's a bit too much damage, right? That's a bit too much damage. Do I get this lovely boost here? I can't sucker punch. I know that, but I can go into Kowtow Cleave. And I'm just going to look to take out Indeedee here, and I believe... Let me see this thing's stats. Yeah, I was going to say, it's special defense should be down. So I might be able to KO with just a straight-up Blizzard. So I'm, I'm just going to launch a Blizzard here. Launch a lovely Blizzard. Helping Hand comes out here again. Maybe I should have doubled down in the Armors here. But Blizzard's just going to fly here, and Almost KO. Bring you down to one. Are you sashed? You're sashed. That's kind of ugly that you're sashed. That's kind of ugly that you're sashed. And you're going to be able to outspeed me, which is kind of crazy. Can we soak this one up? No, we're dead to that. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. But hey, that's fine. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. As long as you're not popping some big time trick rooms, I think we should be fine here. As long as you're not popping trick rooms. So that ends up happening. Um, I could go into you at this point. Uh, could also go into you. You're not too bad. What I'd rather go into here. Probably, I'll probably like to save the Lando, so I'm gonna go into Ogre Pond here. Kinda sucks I can't give it went out that early. But hey, maybe I should just start attacking right from the right from the, the start. But I'll go into an Ivy Cudgel here. We'll do that, and then we'll just pop another Blizzard across the board. Try to just get rid of our Moosh here. Which isn't bad. Like I said, we have a War Bell set up, which is nice. It is pretty lovely. But just losing King Gambit like that's a little tough for me. So Blizzard flies through here. I think he's going to try to maybe pop a trick from here. But he just lets his arm lose die out. Can we KO with Ivy Cudgel? Might be able to. This, this move hits pretty hard. We do. Awesome. Beautiful. So we just don't have to worry about anything that Indeedee's doing. We get rid of those front two. We have a War Bell set up. Or eight turns with late play. Probably about five, six turns left. And we're gonna see their final two Pokemon. Which if I had to guess, maybe Shen Pao Urshfu. Right? There's Urshfu. Gotta be Shen Pao, right? No, Sneasel's gonna come out here. So Sneezy comes out here. This is where we get a little scared. Cause Sneasel, oh, Sneasel's scared. This thing have acrobatics? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. We're gonna get torn up. But I'm just gonna double down into this Urshfu here. I'm going Horn Leech. I go in Moonblast. I don't see it protecting here. He's just gonna go for a Dire Claw, which we survive. Lovely. Big time survival here. Certain Strikes comes out here. We're gonna survive that too. And we're just gonna be able to get rid of Urshfu. That's massive. That pretty much sets us up to win, right? That pretty much sets us up to win. That pretty much sets us up to win, because we're gonna hit you pretty hard here. I wish Corn Leech actually came out first, because we could've got more HP. But now it's a 3v1 situation. He has no double hitting moves with that Sneasler. Even though Sneasler is a big time threat. He has no double hitting moves. And to be honest, I'm just gonna hit the protect button. Oh, we don't have protect. Oh no, we have spike shield. I'm just gonna hit the spike shield button here. And on top of that, is snow gone? I think snow's gone. Oh no, snow's still here. But on top of that, we're just gonna throw a blizzard. Because we know you're going after Ogre Pine. We know you're gonna dire claw into that slot and KO it, right? Makes the most sense. No, you don't. Luckily, you were able to survive that nine tails. But you get put to sleep? Come on now. Come on now. That that's wild. That is wild. You get put to sleep. Absurd. That's very absurd. So now he's just gonna die or claw up my ogre pond. I mean, I guess it's alright. We still have our intimidate Pokemon in the back end. And we'll go for a moon bus here now that the snow has stopped. There's the Dire Claw, dude. That's crazy that I go to sleep there. I get no value. I get no Blizzard Shot. That is crazy. That is that is actually hilarious. So I still have you. I got Choice Scarf on you. I do have Stomp and Cantrum as well, which will be super effective. And they cannot Thrasilize, which is a beautiful sight. And Intimidate comes out here on a physical attack. So we're going to go for Stomp and Cantrum here. 
and then just go for that lovely moon blast. Lovely little moon blast. So setting up a roar bell turn one was massive for us. It was big time. Just wish we could use King Gambit a little bit more. But I think we're just going to try to rock out with it in match number three. And get rolling from there. Look at Ninetales. All slump. Yo, I was so upset. I was like, Dire Claw is really going to... It's going to give me a status condition here. I just didn't know which one. Ninetales dodges the rocks out, which is pretty big. It does, like, no damage to Lando. Lando's going to be able to stop and catch him in KO. Yeah, and finish this one off. So 2-0. and out. Let's go hop through that third. Use King Gambit a little bit more and look for that perfect record. Final match on its way, and we're going up against a Mimikyu team here in match number three. Love Mimikyu, such a strong Pokemon, but they also have a bunch of other strong Pokemon. They got Ninetales, they also have Iron Hands, they got Shen Pal, they got Sylveon, and they also have Urshifu. So they might go into Ninetales to maybe try to set up an Aurora Veil, which could be pretty good. It definitely could be pretty good. I might go eat both these guys right here. I might go Gambit and... Corona. Try to set one up, right? That could be pretty good. Like I said, I really do believe they're going to go into Ninetales. Maybe I'll go Iron Hands and Full Corona. Or Iron Hands and King Gambit. Maybe try to set up a Swords Hands here. Could work wonders. And yeah, I actually really like that. So I'm going to go into both of them. I'm going to bring Ninetales in the back end. Do I want to do that for maybe Late Game or Water Veil? Or do I just want to go really hyper offensive? I feel like if they set up an Aurora Veil, we kind of have to set up an Aurora Veil. So I'm going to go Ninetales in the back end. And then last but not least, probably Ogre Pond, right? Ogre Pond Orlando. I like Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond just gets a lot of value. It's just a solid Pokemon all around. You really can't go wrong with it. So I'm going to go into Ogre Pond here and look to grab ourselves a win here in match number three. And grab ourselves a perfect record. I'm curious to see who they're going to lead. They, I think they're going to lead Ninetales, right? Ninetales, Iron Hands, definitely a big time option. I don't think they go hyper offensive with Shin Power Urshifu. But they go Urshifu and Ninetales. Okay. So I'm going to lead both these guys. Now, the real question is do I let them set up a War Veil? Or do I. Hmm. That's the real question. Do I let them set up a War Veil? Or do I fake out the Urshifu? I think we fake out the Urshifu. And we just go for the Sword Sands plus two, right? I mean, these moves aren't really working too good. I might just hard swap it. Do I maybe just hard swap into Nine Tails of my own? Could be the play. Yeah, let's just swap into Nine Tails of our own. That's going to be my play. So they end up withdrawing their nine tails here as well. Okay. I feel you. I understand. And who are you going to go into? I'm going to go into Iron Hands. I'm going to swap my King Gambit. And I'm going to go into my nine tails. <laughs> Big guy's going to come across here. And we're just going to clap up onto the Urshville. Cool. So that, now they have Fake Out ready to go. Um, I think we're just going to Wild Charge you down. And just protect the Nine Tails. Because if I had to guess, they're probably faking out the Nine Tails, right? If I had to guess, I know he, Urshfu hits through protects, but I just think they're faking out the Nine Tails. Yeah. They do fake out the Nine Tails. They might hit me hard with the move here, but still, we dodge the fake out damage and all that. And yeah, there's here comes the Serpent Strikes. Which, I mean, we're fine soaking up. We're just fine soaking up. And this Wild Charge will now get rid of Urshfu, which is massive. Massive getting rid of Urshfu. And then I can set up a war bell next turn. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're making some great calls today. So big time hard swap. We still have King Gambit in the back end. Which I like having him in the back end. And now from here we'll set up a war bell. And maybe hard swap Iron Hands. Definitely a possibility. Depending on who they go into. Which I think they go into Night Tales. And we just have like a mirror match up here. And we both set up a war bell. Which is exactly what I would do. So we'll see. I, I hope they don't, but that's that's legit what I would do. If I if I was in their situation, I'd be like, I'm going to Nine Tails. I'm setting up a War Veil. Right? Yeah. It makes some more sense. So we're both gonna double down. We're both gonna set up a War Veils, and I think from here now it's just a perfect time to swap in the game. But right? Maybe. Maybe not. 
No, it's not. It's not. We're just gonna have to save King Gambit. Um, I think we'll just heavy slam into you, look to get off as much damage, and we'll just set up that Aurora Bell. The King Gambit's more of like a, like a, ooh, you kinda went into Moon Blast. Okay. I feel you, I understand. But King Gambit's more of just like a backup Pokemon in this battle, looking just to clean things up. But they don't set up the Aurora Bell, that's gonna bite him, because Heavy Slam's coming out here for some damage. We do Sash up. And Drain Punch gonna come across here, which we're able to soak. Beautiful. Big time soaks for us. So from here, I'm gonna go into a... I might just wanna swap you. We're going into Moon Blast. You're going into Moon Blast. I think just swapping you and then maybe just Blizzard is her call. Just so I can have Fake Out later. I don't think they double down with the Drain Punch like they did last turn. I think, they, I think the uh, Iron Hand starts attacking the Nine Tails this turn. So I think going into King Gambit is just a safe play. Oh, they might now. Now that a War Bell set up. Could do me bad. Give me a freeze on, onto the Iron Hands. Give me a freeze on the Iron Hands. <laughs> Give me a freeze on the Iron Hands, please. Please! Nope. And yeah, that's a big mistake on my end. King Gambit's able to survive, which is pretty. Pretty nice, but that's a big mistake on my end. But at least we get fake out later in the match. Okay. Out comes Sylveon, which is actually fine by me. Because I still have Terra, and I'd rather save it for Ogre Pond. Because it does get a special defense boost. But just King Gambit's just not getting any value out of the these turns. Rather slow, isn't he, too? I think you are, right? Yeah, Sylveon's gonna outspeed you here. So, I mean, I'll go for a Sucker Punch. Like I said, you're not really getting off that much value. And I'll just double down and Moon Blast into the Iron Hands here as well. And they're gonna end up Terrasalizing. Probably Iron Hands. Or maybe Fairy Terra Sylveon? Yeah, Fairy Terra Sylveon. Fairy Terra Sylveon. So, like I said, I have the Special Defense and, and uh... Special defense boost on my Ogre Pond when I fast slides. I like having that Pokemon in the back end. But Moon Blast, Sucker Punch can come out here, do a little bit of damage, and Hyper Voice is going to pick up a double kill, right? No Nine Tail Soaks, but Iron Hand still has turn to go. Okay. There's Heavy Slam. So I have two Pokemon left. I, Iron Hand's taken a little bit of damage already. And this one's actually going to come down to the wire. I really want to use King Gambit a little bit more in today's video, but just the matchups that we had didn't really work out in his favor. Like if I had any other Pokemon, we probably would have won this match, but I really just wanted to use King Gambit here. I really just wanted to use King Gambit, but from here, we're definitely putting on the mask here. I'm going to go for an Ivy Cudgel, and I think I'm just going to start trying to tee off into that Iron Hand slot, right? Best bet. That's definitely the best bet. We'll go for a Dream Punch. Why not I fake out? I should have faked out the Sylveon, but the Sylveon might just protect. I should have faked out there. But again, Sylveon might just protect, so that actually could work in our favor. I'm kind of hoping Sylveon protects. That'd be huge. That'd be huge. It does. Whew. We actually lucked out there. We actually lucked out there. Ivy Cudge are coming in here. Get off some big time damage. Can we get a crit? I know this thing has a higher chance of critting. And we don't get a crit. Mm, which could be bad. Because Drain Punch is not going to KO. It's not going to KO. And he's definitely going for Wild Charge. Which we might be able to soak here. And you're going for Drain Punch here as well. The Drain Punch comes out. Another Ivy Cudgel will KO the Iron Hands. I know he's not going to protect. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for Ivy Cudgel. And... If I can land a heavy slam, I will. And this match is just coming down to it. Like I said, we have the special defense boost. That's huge for our Ogre Pond. And this is, this is going to just turn to a 1v1. So I can tell you exactly what's going to happen. Iron Hands can't protect on their end, so we're just going to take it out with the Ivy Cudgel. He's then going to go with Sylveon, send a Hyper Voice. Hyper Voice is going to KO my Iron Hands, do a little bit of damage to my... Ogre Pond, and then it's just going to turn into a 1v1 situation. Which I think is going to be rather close, but I think we can pull this off, especially with the special defense boost that we have. 
But here's the Ivy Cudgel coming in hot here. Get that thing on out my face. Get it on out of here. Here comes the Hyper Voice, correct? No, we actually outspeed you. That's massive. That just won us the game. That just won us the game. Super surprised that we out outspeed you. If I, if I knew that, I would have Ivy Cudgeled the. Uh, I would actually Ivy Cudgeled the. Uh, the Sylveon, but Heavy Slam did a big time of damage. That just won us the game. Beautiful. Awesome. Ivy Cudgel can finish this one off, and we go 3 0 in today's video. This team was so much fun to use. Absolutely loved it with the Bull Corona and the King Gambit. Ogre Pond coming in clutch in the back in here, and we just dominated. Every single match we did today, it was flawless. It was flawless. Played super well today, swapping in and out perfectly, making the right calls, making the right Pokemon, or choosing the right Pokemon. And Sylveon's gonna end up going for a quick attack as like a last resort effort here. Doing a little bit of damage, not bad damage there. But Ivy Cudge will finish this one off. No problem. No problem. 3-0. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. A 3-0 record. Rock it out with the Swords Dance King Gambit and Quiver Dance Full Corona team. We had plenty of other Pokemon on the team that definitely thrived out, like the Ninetales, Ogre Pond, Iron Hands, and Landorus. But hey, the two main Pokemon I want to showcase were the King Gambit and the Bull Corona. I feel like we did that pretty well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.